We're not entirely sure, but we think it goes from wild birds to other animals, potentially through their poop. The next big thing, that's what we wanna know, right? We've got an election coming up and there's always something and they always kind of give us some hints. I think I might know. In federal funding for a human vaccine, amid the crazy outbreak that's going on. What? I mean, forking out a couple hundred million and already having almost 5 million doses ready to roll out mid-July and August? I'm just saying, keeping your eyes wide open and making sure you know what's going on because, because vaccine development funds have been awarded. Stuff you need to know coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you wanna know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Okay, so like I said, we've got elections coming up. We know something's gotta be cultivating, right? And we're all wondering what it's gonna be because I would say most of us have a hunch that they're gonna need something. And seriously, I was just recently sent this article, development funds awarded amid the multi-state outbreak. And this is regarding bird flu. Now, before I tell you who it is, which is not gonna be a big surprise, that's getting upwards of hundreds of millions of dollars for this new vaccine. Let me show you how big media is shaping it up to kind of curve the mental process of most of the population out there. Okay, so remember, a lot of people would think they want us to be scared of this. They also are going up against our food supply with farmers and all that kind of stuff. You're gonna hear the motion in this that kind of gets people tipping the scale against what I think we need more of. And they wanna get rid of it because, well, quite frankly, it's dangerous. Human deaths after outbreaks of bird flu and dairy cows. Experts are concerned about the virus mutating, allowing for human to human transmission. Human to human transmission. And, and it's gonna be really interesting to hear how that works out. We're not entirely sure, but we think it goes from wild birds to other animals, potentially through their poop. So a bird, um, say, goes to the bathroom in the water supply of the cattle, and then the cows maybe pass it, potentially through breathing within the um, sheds that, that they live in, so they pass it to other cows. We also know that it can pass through the milk of the cows uh, because cats on the farms have caught it. Now, I'm sure you guys noticed, there's no certainty here. And this is the thing, this is from US, USA Today, and this apparently is some expert, but doesn't know anything. She's being very careful on how she speaks. She doesn't say anything that is affirmative. It is quite possibly, it's very possible that this could be what's going on. Potentially, this could be happening or that happening. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of huge laws, a huge fundings, new mandates on potentially this could be happening. It's quite possible that this is happening. What happened to the real science, right? And also several farm workers have caught it. We think by um, touching their eyes uh, after having touched the, um, the cows. There it is again. You guys got to pay attention to the language. We think that it's from the farmers touching the water that the cows touch. And then we assume that they touched their eyes. I'm telling you, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, and this is coming from the professional and this is what's going to lead into them controlling and probably killing off more millions of birds, probably cattle, I'm telling you, you can't have backyard chickens, you can't have goats, you can't have a dairy cow. And if we catch you drinking unpasteurized milk, and if we find out you bought eggs from the neighbor, I'm telling you guys, this is where it's headed. Watch, this is what they're telling us how it affects people. So wait, how likely is it for some someone, a human, to get bird flu, and what happens? You're not gonna catch it walking down the street. You're not gonna catch it from somebody else at this point. Um, but there is the, the longer term concern that it could evolve to become contagious that way. What we do know is the number of people who are quite sick. Wait a minute. You can't get it from someone else walking down the street or doing your daily life is what she's making it sound like, right? But you touch the cow, touch your eyes, 
Now you, what? That means it's on your hands, right? You go touch doorknobs and you're walking down the street going to the store. I mean, isn't that the same thing? The next person comes and touches the doorknob, touches their eyes. So basically walking down the street and doing what you're already doing, they're saying it is contagious, but it's not contagious. Are they saying it's not airborne? Is that what they're saying? Because that she probably needs to specify. Because if the guy with the dirty hands that touched his eyes touches the door handle going into the grocery store or the bank and you touch the same door handle, then you go touch your eyes then in fact you are able to get it just going walking down the street and doing your daily life right catch it walking down the street you're not going to catch it from somebody else at this point um, but there is the the longer term concern that it could evolve to become contagious that way what we do know is the number of people who were quite sick between a half and a third died um so it's the potential is is there for it to be quite quite deadly okay between a half and a third not making it those are some pretty high numbers those are scary numbers so in fact, if we are able to get it, which she said you can't get it from somebody else, yet you can touch a cow and touch your eyes, which I don't see the difference between this, the same hand that touched the cow that touched the eyes, touches the door handle and you touch the door handle and then you touch your eyes. I'm telling you, are, do you guys read between the lines like I do? Do you pay attention to the words? Because this stuff just has me wanting to bang my head against the wall. Now hang with me because I'm going to tell you who they just supplied tons of money to start making this vaccine. That would probably be ready before some huge huge type of pandemic deal. But I wanna show you because it plays along with everything else that we're seeing with all the struggles with the farmers, with all the millions of poultry and chickens that are getting off, all the cattle farms that are getting shut down, all the people that are being told they can't have backyard chickens. This is what they're saying. At this point, the main way to avoid uh, getting bird flu is to stay away from farm animals. And that might also mean backyard chickens and not to drink raw milk. So if you're buying milk from the, from the grocery store, Store, you're totally safe. Um, but if you buy it fr directly from a farm where it has not been pasteurized, that's the milk that potentially could have bird flu in it. Okay, guys, real quick, if you're scared of all that stuff, I'm going to tell you full transparency. And I'm not recommending this for legality reasons. This is my own opinion and my own choice free will, you might say, but we don't take any of the things, none, and that's my free choice, right? We drink completely unpasteurized milk, which is straight from the farmers, and we have for years. We buy the cleanest meat possible that has never been <laughs> injected with hormones or any of that kind of stuff. We buy raw, raw chicken, whole chicken from people that we know. We try to stay away from the grocery stores that have ingredients line items of over a hundred for a basic food item and you wonder i'm telling you guys this goes much deeper than i believe it's a brainwashing thing but i won't get super deep into that if you guys want to have a conversation in the comments down below go for it i would love to read that but let's get into this development of the funds that were awarded this is kind of something like i'm not saying that this is this is it but it's a big huge like flashing bulb to me this is from usa today bird flu vaccine development funds awarded to moderna amid multi-state outbreak sounds big doesn't it multi-state outbreak so moderna gets awarded with how much? Well, it says right here, Moderna is set to receive $176 million in federal funding to develop a human vaccine against bird flu following outbreaks of the virus in dairy cows across several states. The Department of Health and Human Service announced Tuesday. You might as well shout it from the rooftops because what is that saying? $176 million federal funding for a human vaccine amid the crazy outbreak that's going on. Well, I don't think we're seeing a crazy outbreak. How many people have gotten it? I mean, can we count it on two hands? But look, they need $176 million for a human vaccine because it's spreading fast or something. So what does that tell you? They're getting prepared for something possible. The US has documented three cases of humans with bird flu in 2024. Let's get the federal funding for $176 million, federal funding for the human vaccine. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong down in the comments. It, maybe this is a great precautionary measure. Maybe they need set 176 million in federal funding for the thing that they said that humans couldn't get, but now three cases in like months. To me, I'm kind of picturing some sort of replay and the fact that it's an election year. I mean, that really, really stacks the deck. As of July, over 130 herds across 12 states have 
seen affected cows. Now, don't worry, because they say don't worry. It says more, be alert, but not alarmed about bird flu. CDC officials urge. So CDC says everything's gonna be fine. Let me give you just a little bit more. The HHS awarded the American vaccine manufacturer will go toward developing an mRNA-based pandemic influenza vaccine. Moderna's candidate for the vaccine draws from the mRNA technology used successfully during the CVID of you know what response resulting in one of the first Food and Drug Administration authorized CVID vax ultimately licensed by the FDA HH S set. Now, without me going into a whole bunch of details and people out there that have already done a little bit of homework, that right there says a ton. A little bit more. Vaccine from the mRNA can complement traditional vaccine technologies during the pandemic influenza emergency response. This is a concern with the H5N1 avian influenza, even if the current risk to humans health remain low. Well, it sounds like if you've already gotten other vaccines, it's a low risk. You may need this. Everyone may need this. And it complements by the sounds of it. In quotes, we have successfully taken lessons learned from the CVID pandemic and used them to better prepare for the future public health crisis, HHS Secretary Javier Bacara said in a statement. Also in quotes, as part of that, we continue to develop new vaccines and other tools to help address influenza and bolster our pandemic response capabilities. Now I'm all for being prepared and being alert, but I just don't know if that's where we're at these days. I'm almost thinking, I mean, a lot of people say this, I won't state this, a lot of people say this, that, you know, you create the problem, you create the solution. And some of you might agree with that, some of you might not. So it must be urgent. The funding made it through the Federal Rapid Response Partnership Vehicle. It allows Moderna to enhance vaccine response capability, an HHS news release said. This includes using large scale commercial mRNA manufacturing and ongoing seasonal flu vaccine developments, HHS secured a fair pricing agreement to ensure cost saving access to vaccines. Well, now we pay for that, don't we? So how convenient. So like I said, I'm all about being prepared and making sure we have something before something happens. But I mean, is some people would question is the case is the problem not a natural problem? if you know what I mean. I think I have a tainted perception based off of what we've all experienced over the past few years and the stuff we've learned if you've been doing your research. The article goes on to say, Moderna will prepare materials and conduct clinical trials to collect safely immune response data to support FDA approval and eventually potentially scale response with commercial production in a public health emergency. So we all know that that doesn't take a lot of time to procure, like they can just, at a flip of a hat, without any responsibility, say that everyone needs to do it. It would sound similar to something we've we've dealt with before, but I'm reading on, uh, anything else great for you guys? Also in a news release, Moderna said it initiated a study to look at vaccine safety and immunogenicity, I think that's immune response, for pandemic influenza in adults ages 18 and older. This included vaccine candidates against H5 and H7 bird flu viruses. Results are expected in 2024 to inform further study development plans, Moderna said. Now check this out. They've already been hard at work. It's almost like they know something's coming. You know, you gotta stay ready, right? You gotta stay ready. You gotta stay eyes wide open because these type of things could give you some clues on putting together the puzzle, kind of foreseeing the future per se. The Administration for Strategic Preparedness and Response within HHS already has, get this, 4.8 8 million doses of bird flu vaccine being poured into vials that could be used pending an FDA approval. The agency's director, Don O'Connell, said, call with reporters Tuesday morning. Those first doses could be ready by mid-July 
through August. Could be the rollout for these vaccines will be ready mid-July through August. I'm telling you, this is very, very interesting. Let me end with this last sentence. Other options to contain bird flu may be used, particularly if more farm workers get sick. These could include widespread use of antivirals to fight the virus. For example, no decision has been made on what the best response is, Shah added. I'm just saying, the stuff that I give you guys is the stuff that kind of, it has my brain turning. Like, I'm like, hmm, something's interesting about this. It's interesting information. It's pieces of the puzzle. Um, I feel like it's good to know. I think it's good to be aware of this. With that, please share this out so people know. I don't think this is being broadcasted out. Or do you? Have you heard about it? Because it, I would think that this is kind of a big thing. I mean, forking out a couple hundred million and already having almost five million doses ready to roll out mid-July and August. I'm just saying, keeping your eyes wide open and making sure you know what's going on because some things just look all too familiar. Anyway, guys, I got a lot more coming down the pipe. Please share this. Let me know in the comments. Watch these two other videos. If you didn't get to see them, keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you on the next one.